Have you ever felt like you're stuck in a rut, going through the motions of a life that feels as though it's been planned out for you already? Like most people, you've been told that the key to success is getting a good education and a steady nine to five job. But let me ask you, is that really the life you want? Is this really the best way to achieve financial freedom and live a truly fulfilling life? I'm here to tell you that there's a better way, a way to break free from this cycle of mediocrity and achieve financial independence. And the key to achieving this freedom lies in the skills that schools don't teach you. Growing up, I always considered my myself to be an average student. I wasn't terrible at school, but I never really excelled at any subject either. It wasn't that I was a disruptive student or I didn't try hard, I simply was not engaged with what I was being taught. Most of it just seemed so irrelevant to my future, like I couldn't see how it would benefit me at all. I'm sure anyone who's gone through high school will relate to this, but I remember thinking, how is trigonometry going to benefit me in 10 years? But as a result of this, I began to believe that I was just dumb, that I didn't have the potential to be really good at anything or earn a lot of money. But now, looking back on it, I understand that this current system of education is designed to produce average people. It's tailored to people who enjoy following the rules, who love being told what to do. It's simply not set up to produce individuals who are capable of extraordinary things. The truth is, a lot of the most important skills you will never learn in school. It wasn't until I discovered the world of self-improvement and began actively working on my weaknesses, learning new things, that I began to believe I could do it. I spent many years feeling lost and unsure of my abilities, but once I started focusing on personal growth, everything changed. Now I'm on a mission to help young men avoid making the mistakes that I made and start their journey towards self-improvement. I want to share the insights and strategies that help me turn my life around and give others the tools they need to succeed. So if you're ready to start this journey, hit that subscribe button and join the Iron Man Brotherhood, a community of like-minded guys as committed to improving as you. In today's video, I'll be discussing five important skills that schools won't teach you. Skills that ambitious, business-minded people would have started learning from early on in their life. These skills gave them a competitive advantage, they helped them rise above their peers and would have been instrumental in helping them break free from the traditional path and achieve financial independence. Something else to keep in mind is that cultivating these skills isn't just going to be really helpful for the aspiring business owners out there, they're also just great skills to have if you're aiming for those high paying jobs. In today's job market it's very competitive so you need to be working harder than ever to set yourself apart from your peers and by developing these skills you'll be better equipped to stand out and land the top paying positions. So first up we have risk taking. This isn't a skill in the traditional sense, but the need for good risk-taking abilities is bound to come up on the path to success. In school, we're taught to play it safe, but generally speaking, it usually takes some kind of risk-taking, getting out your comfort zone to win big. The really successful people in society are often risk-takers, and it's a trait that serves them well. The main reason I personally think it's so important is this. Without taking risks from time to time, how will you truly know what you're capable of achieving? I feel like so many people squander their potential because they're afraid to take a risk when they could have been great. Now I'm not saying you should be reckless or impulsive, the skill part of it comes from learning to take a calculated risk, like weighing up the pros and cons of a situation. Developing a skill can be as simple as getting out of your comfort zone, talking to a new person, taking on a new challenge. There's some level of risk involved in pretty much every decision we take, but the more you practice, the more comfortable you'll become. The better your decisions will be and the higher the chance you'll win big. So up next we have social skills. The ability to connect with others and build relationships is crucial for success in any field. Whether it's networking, negotiating, team working, strong social skills are essential. Social skills are so valuable just because being able to talk to another person with confidence can open up some big opportunities. Seriously, making a good impression on the right person can change your life forever. I've always said the best way to improve your social skills is just by talking to people you don't know. Strike up little conversation throughout the day with everyone you meet. That's what took me from being like the most awkward person ever to a confident speaker. It's honestly just practice, practice, practice. Anytime you get the chance to speak to someone new, just do it. I'd also suggest working on active listening and being more present in conversations. Also, don't forget about the power of body language. Non-verbal cues like eye contact and having good posture can go a long way in building relationships. Another key skill is sales. No matter what it is you do for a living, you'll always need to know how to sell something, whether that's a product, an idea, or yourself. The ability to persuade and convince others is a skill that will serve you well in any situation. Whether you're trying to negotiate or or get a raise or even just convince someone of your viewpoint strong sales skills are essential they can literally be applied to so many careers like 
In a way now, I'm selling to you. I'm trying to convince you to exchange your attention for clicking on my thumbnail. I'm trying to convince you to exchange your time for my views. It always comes down to figuring out the solution to someone else's problem, like whatever their pain points are, and that's a very powerful thing to have an understanding of. So how can you develop your sales skills? There are a lot of resources on how to get better at selling. There's definitely going to be some courses you can find online. I'd also recommend reading a few books on the topic. I'll link a few good ones in the description. But once again, practice is key. The more in-person practical stuff you can do, like going to some workshops for training or even just getting some actual experience working in sales, the faster you'll pick up the skill of selling. Social skills and active listening also come into it. Building rapport with a customer and understanding their needs will help you persuade them to buy what you're selling. Leadership is another skill that gets overlooked in schools even though it's one of the most practical to have in the real world. Leadership is not just having the attention of others. It's not just being the guy who everyone notices. It's influencing them. It's having a real impact on someone else's life. Being being a good leader is guiding someone in a direction that is mutually positive. It's good for you and for them. The skill is so important for young men because it allows them to take on extra responsibility and with that comes being a role model. And what I found is that when you're placed in that position of extra responsibility, it's so much easier to stick to the good habits and values. Like I said, it's mutually beneficial. Obviously the other person gets to learn and improve, but for you, helping them make that progress is super fulfilling. And that's because helping others is scientifically proven to make us happier. To practice the skill of leadership you have to seek out opportunities for leadership in life like it doesn't necessarily mean leading a team of a thousand employees in some global operation a good place to start is leading by example to your friends or your family or you could do it through creating your own project like i've done here learn something desirable and teach other people how to get there that's essentially what my channel is help them grow alongside you that's leadership last but certainly not least we have mindfulness i think the mindfulness is the antidote to a lot of problems that young men face in the modern era. Today our attention span is so messed up because of our over-reliance on things like technology and social media and that lack of impulse control is really counterproductive when it comes to getting real work done. So mindfulness as in the state of being more present and aware in the moment helps us regulate those impulses better. We're able to catch ourselves in those bad habits that we would have been doing without thinking and stop ourselves. That means more focus and decision making but it also means we're able to manage things like stress and negative thoughts more easily. On a serious note, school Schools would do so well to teach mindfulness to students. If from a young age we were taught effective strategies for dealing with depressed and anxious thoughts through mindfulness, think about how many fewer suicides a year there would be. So how can you develop your mindfulness skills? The absolute best way is through meditation. It's literally training your brain to be less anxious. You're purging your mind of whatever is causing you stress by focusing on the present moment. That has the effect of calming you down, but also building up a better relationship with your thoughts in future. So those things you found yourself worrying about this time they're less likely to bother you next time so there you have it the top five skills that schools won't teach you risk taking social skills sales leadership and mindfulness developing these skills is your fast track off the traditional path and towards financial freedom and fulfillment iron sharpens iron as one man sharpens another we're all in this journey of self-improvement together and by joining my community the iron man brotherhood you'll have all the support and resources you need to reach your potential take the first step by subscribing to my channel and start developing the skills that will set you apart from the rest. I'm also going to be coming out with videos on things like fitness, leveling up your social skills and your dating life and breaking down the issues affecting modern men. Till next time, stay sharp and keep striving for greatness.